happy Wax Plant Wednesday, everyone. I know at this point, y'all are probably sick of my Hoyas. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm filming this actually two weeks after I filmed those Hoya collection videos. So I just have to say, I haven't looked at them since, which is bad. I looked at a few where I was just like, you're gonna die if I don't water you. Uh, so I've looked at a few, but it's just gonna be a Hoya Plant review today because we're all, there's a lot. Ooh, the sun. <laughs> So three rows of Hoyas there, Polyneuras and Ciolaras, and then all my props for the most part. And then my props are up here under this grow light. And I did not lie, right under grow light. I don't think I need to do any of the big ones down here. Mm, we'll see. Okay, we're gonna, like Monday's video, we're just gonna stay here in the kitchen. I'll go through things. I want to, I don't know if I'm gonna repot it. I need to put a trellis. We'll see if I can actually sneak. I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, I was holding off because if I did need to repot it, I didn't have any LECA. The LECA has arrived. I'm just taking this medium acrylic trellis from North Shore Tropicals. And with these self-watering planters, I'm just putting them through the holes where the wicks are. So they're like that. But then on top of that, I'm gonna grab zip ties. And I'm just gonna zip tie them to the sides like that. I've done this with a few of my Hoyas with no issues, so we're gonna keep doing it. I have a question. So I just need to know for myself, when I do these kind of videos, should I just focus on like the plant stuff or like would you be okay if I talk about other things? Cause like I know like here and there I talk about other things, but in my mind, I'm very like, okay, this isn't plant related. And then a lot of the time I don't include it. And I know I talked more ra about random stuff, uh, specifically during Vlogmas, but yeah, I don't know. Just let me know if, if you're okay with that. Cause sometimes people just watch my videos for the plant stuff and they don't care about me, which is okay. I mean, I get it, but <laughs> yeah, I, on I only say that because I feel like um, things are starting to get a little bit repetitive and like, I could just like talk about something random. <laughs> I think I did that too tight. Okay, we're redoing this. See, and then like, I'm not even like focused on the task. <laughs> they have to do things again. So I just put zip ties over here on each side and she's a lot more secure. I'm also thinking about once the Hoya roots and grows, the roots will also stabilize the trellis in the LECA. At least I have found that that has happened with a lot of mine. So it might not be the most stable, but it does the, it does the trick for now. Okay, I have my LECA. Girl. Okay, I like that. I think I'm gonna keep the wick because the wick is kind of tangled with the root. So just like that. Again, I love these trellises because the clips just fit so nicely and you're not necessarily suffocating the tendril. Um, I find with bamboo trellises, just because they're not made um, like the same size, sometimes you have bigger ones and you can't use these clips with those ones. Hey, here she is. So I'm just gonna add my nutrient solution. I still have some left over from a week ago. So that is her, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna look at the New Guinea ghost. Oh. The New Guinea Ghost that has, I don't even know, 5,000 cuttings. And because I didn't do the cake dowel method, I'm gonna have to repot them, stick in a trellis. And I currently, like, I don't know if I'm gonna split them because I already have a planter that has a lot. Ah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put all of them in a bigger planter. We're gonna stick with Pawn and we're just gonna put, I wanna do a medium trellis and I wanna do only one just to see how it grows. Like, do you like that? I think I like that. Okay, got my pawn here. Oh, oh my gosh. I still got questions why I wear gloves. The eczema on my hands is unbelievable. However, because I haven't filmed a lot of plant chore videos, my eczema has been like so good. Like. I'm looking at my hand, I'm not gonna show you, but like I'm looking at my hands and they look really good. They feel good and they're like not as itchy. I don't know if like just being around plants aggravates my eczema, that would be the saddest thing. That's, I feel like I have to say every video cause every single video I get questions about it. Okay, yeah. So there's holes at the bottom. So I'm just gonna put the trellis in. Just putting some pond to stabilize it first and then I'll deal with the cuttings do a little shake. Can y'all tell future Kevin, anytime you're questioning putting cake dowels, just do it. 
just do it. So much easier. I like don't know how to do this. This is gonna get so messy on ya. Things are gonna break, I know already. <laughs> it's always so hard when you have a trellis present and just trying to fit everything. Okay, I'm just kinda, this is what I'm doing. I'm just kinda like grabbing them like that and pulling up. Things are gonna break, oh my gosh. I mean, it's a good thing that they're not moving because I think it's only been a month and, or six weeks. Oh my God. Okay, future Kevin zoom in. There are roots. I just don't want to move it because there's already pawn everywhere, but there are roots everywhere. I'm just kind of fitting it in like that. I can already smell, um, you know when you like break a Hoya or like a tendril and then it has this smell? I can already smell like the sap. <laughs> Whoopsies. Okay, do you know what? This is good though because there are a lot in here. Oh yeah, guys, I totally forgot. I did get a question about my new guinea ghost and if it's ever like bloomed or pushed out peduncles. And the answer is yes. I think I might have mentioned it once. The blooms were like not, I don't know, they looked weird. <laughs> I have no idea why they looked this way, but they looked this way and I couldn't get a good picture and then time passed so that I just, I don't know. So it has bloomed for me once, which is fantastic. Oh my God. So I expect the pinkness to just leave the plant because I'm gonna have to put this where the grow light is here now that she has a trellis because before the grow light was here. Hoya Bella. Miss Hoya Bella Lidabui. Uh, there are peduncles and if y'all have owned any kind of Bella, y'all know that she blooms a lot. So is that just, yeah, there's just a couple on. Boom, I'm excited. There was one other one I knocked it over, whoops, when I was moving everything. Oh yay! Chore that I'm gonna do. I'm finally gonna take these props out of this cup. I have learned that if I don't have a visual flag when it comes to watering a plant, especially when it comes to propagations, Hoyer propagations, sometimes I, I don't know if it's completely dry. So there's been a little bit of neglect with the ones in, in clear cups. Although they're good at looking at root systems through the clearness, this is a good opportunity because we get to look at the roots. Okay, I thought this one didn't have roots. That would've been weird because it's been a while. But you can see down there, that piece of pond, there's a small root because there is a new growth. So that's cute. Um, I, I, I kind of, I try not to disturb anything because sometimes it's a pain putting or repotting props with small roots back into the substrate. Um, but I'll show you an example. So this is just a cluster. They're well rooted. Um, the main one, I'll just show you all of them now. <laughs> The main one is that, and then this small one here is a little bit. So that's wonderful. Okay, so let's just cluster them in the middle. See, these ones, they're gonna be like such a pain to put back. I'm hoping that I submerged enough roots. It's kind of hard when the roots are so like, superficial. She's not gonna be ignored anymore because <laughs> I'll be able to see that she's dry. So I'm just watering over. And yeah, so that's them. Super exciting, so cute. Any type of Bella, I do recommend. It is really easy and a fast grower in my experience. Okay, just an update on one of these Hoyas. So the Michele. I'm so happy I chopped this one because the new leaves have such amazing splash. Look at this. So this was here before, but I don't know if these ones were present. Look at these. They all have a degree of block like splash. It's incredible. So I'm almost thinking like, should I propagate my my big one? I don't know. Anyhow, so I'm gonna support her the best I can. This is a Hoya that I try my hardest not to overwhelm it with filling the reservoir to a level where it's too high. I only say that because when you have like over hydration of like the root of the roots and the roots are sitting in water, you see this like spotting. I've also seen that when the reservoir is used, the roots are dry and then you water it, you'll get this spotting. So 
with both my Michele's, I'm trying my hardest to just make sure it's at least moist just so I don't get that in the foliage and and yeah so maybe I should propagate them I don't know it's interesting because like the leaves like didn't have that sectoral kind of block like stuff and then now with all the leaves all the new leaves it has it so here's the big mother not that splashy as the other one but the node down here and like I try I tried to promote growth from this node but the plant just favored another tendril which kind of gave me these leaves which I mean they're fine like I'm very happy that she finally like took off because previously I don't even know what I'm saying I've been standing here for like a minute I'm sorry I'm just I'm kind of tired today it's the day after the Kim Petras concert um and yeah i think my body's just sore like my butt hurts a lot my thighs hurt uh okay so i think the decision is to propagate her it's tough because she hasn't looked this good ever and like she's doing well she really is but after doing my hoya collection video i thought about my sula west c gps8867 and i thought about my glaber schlechter and how i feel like i should have propagated them earlier and so with this one even though i did one already i don't want to do it again and also just seeing that amount of splash like i just want more opportunities to see those kind of leaves in this plant um and obviously too you know i might cut it down to this or i might keep I don't know. In my experience, these are slower to push out new growth once you propagate them, so it might be a while. Okay, I think I'm gonna put all the props. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put all of them. This planter. Sorry, I'm like second guessing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I know there's new leaves that I'm gonna kill, but like there's like no splash on that one, so I'm okay with it. I think that might be the only one that's like fresh, fresh. Ooh, this one's hardening off, but that's okay. There are a bunch of uh, tendrils. I'm just gonna cut them off. Just cutting here, getting rid of this tendril. It's just an energy sucker. Um, you'll find that a lot of the time, like it doesn't push out any growth, so I'm just gonna cut all the tendrils off. Uh, here's the first one. Cutie, cutie, cutie. Where did it, oh, it's here. See, and then like after that leaf, there's another long tendril. I'm just gonna keep cutting. I'm gonna try to save the peduncles, but I don't think I'll be able to. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm just gonna cut this new green leaf because, girl, we don't want it. Okay. This one. I feel like I got some sap. Oh, I did. No. No, guys. How? It's not even. It's not even making a dent. Okay. Well, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Whatever. Let's continue. Okay. So this cluster of leaves. I'm gonna cut all of them off, uh, for the most part. Okay. I cut it down to just this leaf. Oops. Now, I think I might just keep it like this. I know I said I want a growth point to come from this side where there's splashy leaves, like really splashy leaves. The tendril growing this way, like gorgeous leaf. Let's begin. Hopefully I can fit all of them and hopefully they're all like able to face up like the leaves um okay i know i always speed this through i'm so meticulous when it comes to putting the pawn around the stems and just afterwards trying to look to see if everyone is covered. I don't pull it like with a lot of force, but I'm just like trying to make sure that it's like secure. Like this one, gosh. I'm just gonna hope for the best. And yeah, just putting water. And again, I'm keeping the water level really high, probably up to here. And just right under a grow light. Okay, I think I'm gonna propagate my Hoya Polyneura out of variegate and now I'm not propagating it all the way down. I'm just taking, I'm just cutting a few vines to promote branching. 
um, and ultimately just to make another planter. If y'all haven't noticed, when I have like a favorite plant, so Thai constellation, philodendron strawberry shake. I mean, you could you could say this polyneura already. I have this weird obsession where I just like need to make fuller planters. I need to make more. And yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna start these straight into pond, just like my mother. Uh, the other ones that are in this big planter that you'll see in a moment, they all came from perlite props. Oh my God, I like, I'm struggling so much and I have these gloves, jeez. Come on, come on. You call my name. Oh my gosh, I forgot, Wax Plant Wednesday. I usually talk about the Hoyas that are in bloom. I think there's only one. I think it's my Hushkaliana, I'll grab it later. Using this big planter just because I'm planning to put a bunch. Hopefully, we'll see. But I'm mainly gonna focus on like the longer vines and just cutting like a few from each. Cause there's, there's, there's a lot. I'm gonna make a cutting right over here. Three, two, one. Beautiful. This is, oh my God, this is a beautiful vine. Um, so like, for example, I can get six, so I can get six cuttings from this. So that was just one vine. Here come name. This one is a branch off this one. Maybe I'll cut over here. Just stunning. I'll cut them into pieces after. Okay, this side is okay. Let's rotate. Think this side's good. Rotate. This one, I don't like this vine, so we're just gonna... <laughs> We're just gonna chop her down just like this. See how like some of the leaves, like what is this leaf doing? I have no idea. That's her. Uh, let's do this one, but where do I cut? Such a beautiful Hoya, everyone. Seriously, it looks so good. Another one. Okay, say goodbye everyone to the mama. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay. So these are all the cuttings. I'm gonna keep one or two leaves uh, per cutting. But first, let me put some pawn in here. I know I haven't experienced growing this plant in LECA, but I kinda just wanna do pawn. There are just some situations where it's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I actually had zero issues with the outer variegated in pawn. Now, some of these, like this is so young. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna cut here and say goodbye. So I make cuttings that generally look like this. I might take off one leaf um, depending, you know, how many there are and if I could fit them all in here. Y'all, it's October. I always tell myself I wanna do something or like make a costume. It never happens. Like every year I have this thought, like maybe I need to prepare well before, just like how I prepare well before for like Christmas. Oh gosh, regrets. Okay, <laughs> regrets at how many I cut. I might have to, no, that's okay actually. Oh, maybe it won't be. I might have to put a little bit more pawn and then just make sure I fill it to the surface. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's good. I just like how they look with two leaves. I know I'm like, I can just cut it, but they look so cute when they have two leaves. I'm just remembering, I propagated my regular green one during the winter last year and she didn't do well. I think that really showcased that when a Hoya or plant is like dehydrated, like don't propagate it yet, like wait for it to like be better. <laughs> and it was kind of evident with like the Hoya Bella and the Hoya Chinghangensis. Like I did lose a lot more cuttings just because a lot of them were dehydrated. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with these ones because they feel super hydrated and we're all good. I just hope I can fit a lot of these in here. Okay, last one, yay. Okay, I don't even know. I'm gonna try my best to sprinkle a little bit more pawn because I feel like a lot of them are not secure.
can't really see. There's so many. I even count. I should have counted. Oh, well. And again, just watering over just so the top parts are wet. And again, we're going to the very top to make sure they're all wet. And then lighting, I'm going to put this right under grow light. But do you see how a lot of them aren't, like the leaf face is not facing up? Okay. It's to the top. There's like a mini pool at the top of the pond. Okay. Oh, hold on. Actually, Lauren from North Shore Tropicals. Hey, I bought some moss poles and some clear trellises and she thought she would uh, put some, I think they're clear plant label tag situations. <laughs> okay, let me just open it and just show you. So she thought that this would help with like propagations and I never like thought of it. And I was like, that is actually genius. Okay, whoa. Okay, so they're clear and you just kind of like pop them in a plant. Oh my God, am I gonna get out my label maker? Okay, let's do it. Ooh, I think I might be low on tape. I'm just gonna put the date I chopped these. Okay, hopefully the setting's okay. I don't even know what day is it, 17th? Oh, where's my phone? Ooh, I'm fading. Y'all, I'm fading, the sun's out, so it's, it's helping. Okay, it's the 17th, okay. Okay, so I'm just dating today's date. I'll know that that's the day I actually propagated these. This is actually perfect. This is perfect because it's like kind of a double confirmation, if that makes sense. Every time in my videos, when I propagate plants, I have it like on the folder, like what date. These are like nice and sturdy too. Do you see? They kind of remind me of like microscopes and like the slides. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna pop the date on, just like so, and then you have enough room to put it in the planter. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot that, this is so full. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm just gonna go like that. Oh, per do you see, do you see that? Oh, okay, it's, let's, it's okay. It's in reverse, but y'all get the point. Okay, these are nice. Uh, obviously, if you wanna put um, plant names on here, that's cute as well. Oh my God. I need to end this. I need to end this. Um, so they're very cute. So thank you again, Lauren, for gifting me this. I feel like we now have a relationship where you know what I would like because literally everything that she has sent me, I absolutely love. This is gonna be great. Oh my God, wait, what was the other one? I propagate another plant. It's the Michele. Okay, let's put today's date. <gasps> label maker, sorry. Does anyone else get excited by label makers? I do, okay, again. I hope y'all can hear that. I just love that sound. Okay, so today's date. We'll put it in the Michele. Oh, I love. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I can't even pick it up the floor. Oh God, okay. October 17th. It's not in focus, is it? Okay. Cute, okay, I'm gonna stick this in. And yes, I almost forgot. Hoyas that are in bloom, the Hushkiliana. Look at those. So cute. Yeah, it's it's been constant. This has been blooming just so often. And she's, she's just so cute. I mean, come on, like, come on. Wow, she's so beautiful. Apologies about the low energy in this video. I don't know if it was evident. It's Maybe I'm just in my head, but thank you for watching again. Um, I think I am. Starting today, I'm gonna to start doing Wax Plant Wednesday videos again. And again, thank you for coming back. And y'all Hoya lovers are the best. So much support from y'all, so thank you. Okay, if you made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.